This is Kirkwood to South Lake Tahoe with Alex Jones. for the info war. One is inform and the other is inspire. And you are obviously the master at information. You, you're the general in the war. You've done the most work. I really think what, what we need to do in 2019, and this is the secret, is more inspiration. People are tired of both sides arguing and pointing out and saying, oh, look, he said this. And, oh, look, he said that. Jacob, let me stop you. I'm going to ride back to you. I was in the shower at 5.30 this morning, and I said, Alex, you read the news, you get obsessed with it, you never cover your inspiration, you must go in there and say, your 2019 New Year's resolution is to be positive and inspirational, I even said this some last week, about what is good so we know what we're fighting for, and I didn't do it, but you called in, which shows that that's the zeitgeist, you have my commitment, Jacob, that, that we are going to focus on the amazing and the positive at least half the time. For every negative thing we cover, we're going to cover something positive. All right, now you guys have been really great. We have over 20 phone lines, so I got to like 10 calls earlier, but then you let all the lines be open, then people got to hold for an hour. So I apologize. We're going to get to uh, Caleb, who's been home the longest, then Jacob and then Justin, and then Eric, and then right down the line to Craig and everybody else. I'm going to everybody right now. There's a story up on InfoWars.com that's crazy. Uh, we don't just have NPR here in Austin. We don't just have UT Student Radio. They have another one that's basically government-run. And it's not student, it's a co-op. And over the holidays, it's been airing demonic baby sacrifice music. I'm not kidding. We recorded it. This is what's been going on. Is this Christmas music? Austin radio station airs demonic sounds for hours. And we checked the schedule, and this has been going on as just a blasphemy thing for Christmas. Remember, the left's operating system is hating Christ, hating America. Email. So that's going to be coming up right now. Let's go ahead and go back to your calls here. Actually, Jacob's been holding the longest than Caleb. Jacob in Georgia, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex. I uh, appreciate you taking my call. First time caller. Um, I just want to get right to it. And the part, there's two dimensions to the info war. One is inform, and the other is inspire. And you are obviously the master at information. You, you're the general in the war. You've done the most work. I really think what, what we need to do in 2019, and this is the secret, is more inspiration. People are tired of both sides arguing and pointing out and saying, oh, look, he said this, and oh, look, he said that. Jacob, let me stop you. I'm going to go right back to you. I was in the shower at 5.30 this morning, and I said, Alex, you read the news, you get obsessed with it, you never cover your inspiration, you must go on air and say, your 2019 New Year's resolution is to be positive and inspirational, I even said this some last week, about what is good so we know what we're fighting for, and I didn't do it, but you called in, which shows that that's the zeitgeist, you have my commitment, Jacob, that that we are going to focus on the amazing and the positive at least half the time. For every negative thing we cover, we're going to cover something positive. Go ahead. Exactly, and that's the key, is now we have to create our own narrative. We have to brainwash and like chant it like a mantra, and the mantra is the future of each other, the future. Keep chanting it like a mantra until it programs the people. Literally, that is what we need, and, and it's like we have the technology right now to 3D print houses out of hemp concrete using robots to do it all autonomous. Why are we not building this future, this better future together as friends? We're all connected. We all have a cell phone in our hand that connects us around the world. Why, are, why isn't our government just an iPhone app that we just pull up and say, okay, I want to vote for him, 
here's where my... No, you're right, because it's a bunch of control freaks, even top scientists, uh, ge geopolitical scientists have admitted that we have a ruling global elite that stir up problems so they're needed. Instead of just get out of the way, then there'll be unlimited resources, which is true. We are at the point of unlimited resources, and the globalists are working around the clock to suppress all the real technologies that would bring us that. Exactly. So quit, quit talking about their narrative. You and Drudge keep pulling up what they're saying. Ignore them. The easiest way to make a bully quit bullying you is ignore him. Don't fight back. Just be like, you don't exist. Your ideas... Well, I think there's a balance to both of them. you got to have intel on what they're doing. But, but I've been seeing that all of the comments on InfoWars. People are like, Alex, don't spend a segment and a half on Young Turks lying about you saying you're... A, you know, because the Young Turks go on here and go, Jones admits he's fake. Jones admits everything he said is a lie, and then they don't show where I said it, so I get mad to say they're liars. The people go, Alex, we know they're liars. You don't need to defend yourself. And, and I guess that's why they attack me and lie about me constantly, is so that I'll be defending myself instead of just getting the news out. Yeah, and, and trust me, we all love you, and, 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 and the reason you're so successful is because the whole world just needs a daddy. They need a coach. They need a strong male voice to tell them, quit being a bitch, suck it up, get up, and let's work together, and let's do a good job. And you're good. You're, you have wood for it, but yes, you do get wrapped up in negativity, which is you're basically playing the same game. Screw their game. Make up your new game. The new game well, is... Well, I agree we got to fight them and we got to resist them, but we do have to understand while we're doing that, like, that there's a beautiful world and so much good and not give them so much power. You know what? God bless you. I appreciate your call. Please call back again, Jacob. I told the crew this. I got so upset during the midterms that it was my job to come up with the information, which we had, to get it out there. I wasn't worried about being censored ourselves. I knew that I'd been taken out of the game partially because they knew that we had the answer. So I was thinking, what is it? What is it? What is it? You know, what do I do with what they're doing? I mean, what do I expose? How do I expose it to beat it? Like, I had to beat it. And I got totally upset. I never get demoralized and depressed. I got depressed. And I was being a jerk to the crew. <laughs> And then when, when we lost the midterm because of fraud, I realized it's all a process. We're winning all over the world. And so I've been in a lot better mood since then. It's true. They win if we have a heart attack. They got David Knight really down. And he's been really upset about the country. He really cares. And I was giving him a pep talk last week before he had that big heart attack. And I was like, dude, take some time off. He was just, he wasn't worried about himself being censored. He's a smart guy. He, you know, he's been around the world, done a lot of stuff. He was really, and it's, it's normal. You get upset by this. But... It's like Nietzsche said, you can't stare into the abyss and become it. you got to like look at it, know what it is, and then fight it, but be of good cheer. And I, 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 you're absolutely right, because there's no doubt I'm going to end up having a heart attack and die by the time I'm 55 or something if I keep this up. Because I genuinely get pissed. I mean, I, you know, it's not an act, and it's embarrassing, uh, you know, to get this mad. So I had libtards confront me this weekend, and I just basically said, well, God bless you, thank you. Instead of giving them power, I just saw them as the dumb victims they are, instead of blowing up at them. And you're absolutely right, and your advice is well taken. Well, let's cover some Hollywood pedophile rings. <laughs> At the same time, we've got to cover these people. What, you think I'm not sick of talking about them? If there was some free country that wasn't run by a bunch of damn devil worshippers, I'd be leaving right now. There's nowhere to go. So see, I say you're right, then I start getting angry. Uh, it's a balance, and, and that's why we got to ask God into our lives every day. And just the calming. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I get so angry about this. And just, I, just, I have to pray and ask God to make me calm, and then that's why I can go to sleep. And I just hear kind of like waves hitting the beach. It's like, it's all right. It's all part of the plan. It's so everything's going to be okay. But I, I think about people that don't care. I don't want to be them, though. Like, people that just don't care or they enjoy being evil? Can you imagine being them? I mean, it's all food for thought. That's a whole other subject for a long debate on the show with callers about, isn't it positive to cover bad things that are happening because you believe people will change it? The establishment always goes, no, you're just demoralizing people with the bad news. Well, is that true? Because I always thought if something bad's happening, like if, a, if my neighbor's house is getting broken into, I'm going to go over and, you know, call the police and I'm going to put a deer rifle bead on them in case they, you know, try to hurt anybody. And, and, and that's a positive thing that I'm going to take action. It's not a negative thing. But I'm pontificating. Let's go back to your calls. So I took one call in that second. This, this is a call. It was a good call. 
but I just didn't do it again. Mike Adams is coming up, but he's going to be pushed back one way or the other. I'm going to Caleb. I'm going to Justin. I'm going to Eric. I'm going to...